It's the Next Level Contractor Podcast. Coming at you every Monday at 7 a.m., 30 minutes or less. Hey, I'm talking about Mountain Dews, baby. We're helping small businesses and construction companies be more profitable, with better leads, and better systems. Eat bread and desserts and just get all fat and sassy. Today we're going to be talking about do you have the confidence to make changes on your website? If you've ever gone in to change like the hours or a team member on your website and the whole thing broke, you've experienced a poorly built website. They're not supposed to break if you just change an image out or something like that. You're supposed to be able to change these things out very easily. But unfortunately, when people make websites cheaply, things break easily. So every business owner and marketing manager ideally could make changes on their website. They wouldn't need some techie guy. They wouldn't have to make a call. They wouldn't have to make, you know, an email. They could just sign in, make a change, move on with their day in five minutes. And I'm not using this to kind of call out business owners. What I'm actually saying is if that's not the case currently, you need to look at whether your website might be made poorly because it might be taking everybody a lot longer to do stuff on that website. To me, a website, your website is like your tank, right? Digital marketing, your website is the tank. And you've got all these other tools, kind of maybe Facebook or other social tools that you're using. I think of those as the motorcycles that go in the woods and do the little snipers, you know, but you've got this tank. The biggest piece of your marketing is that website and building that website into a big old asset that can push over bunkers and do all this stuff. You need that tank to be something you know how to operate. I think you should get in there now. Like if you haven't done this yet, I think you should figure out your login to your website and be able to get in there today and maybe change a couple of things just to feel the confidence, to feel the confidence that you can get in and change things on your website. So this is the real problem here. Let's just get to the root cause of the thing. People that make websites on these builders, they often make websites that are way harder to edit. Why? Because it's way easier to make a website that's hard to edit. And I'll tell you the key of why that's the case. It's because they're mixing structure with content. They're, they're using this builder that was essentially meant for a small business owner, but they're building it on this template. They're, they're charging, you know, it's a $75 template. They're charging thousands and thousands of dollars. And then the website is really easy to break. So the structure is mixed in with the content and we need them to be separate. So you can build a website in such a way. I'm not going to go into crazy detail here, but the whole idea is actually coding it in such a way that the only thing that the client, you, the business owner or the marketing manager can see is the images and the text and the back end and just switching those out. But they, they're not messing with like the columns or the structure of the website at all. That's the ideal. And that's like a true professional way to do things. And how do you do that? You do it through custom design. That means like in Photoshop, Illustrator, or these different programs to actually design the website from scratch to fit like a glove and then custom development, which takes a little bit more time. And yes, it's a little bit more expensive. So you may have tried to go the cheap route, but ideally, ideally, we have the structure and the content separate so that anyone can get in there and edit at any time so you can move quickly and it won't break the website. There are some things that you want to be able to add to your website on a regular basis. I'm going to go through them. Promotions, right? You don't want to make them look messy though. You want to make them simple and maybe be an image, a headline, a couple other components so that they're simple. Team members. I don't suggest doing every single team member if you have a giant team, but perhaps you should have your leadership on there and that those should be able to e be easy to edit and update. Hours, key copy on homepage and service pages. Have you ever had seen a spelling error and had to go through a whole rigmarole that took three days? You don't want that. So key copy on the homepage and service pages should all be editable. All the copy on the website should be editable. Blog posts, it should be really easy for anyone on your team to get in there and add a blog post. This is the meat and potatoes of digital marketing on the web. And then projects and new work. This is self-explanatory. You want to be able to add images, videos, any kind of content to your website very quickly and easily. And then the balance is not that you want to do all of the work on your website. I'm not telling you, you got to do all this work. What I am saying is you should not have to 
have a technical person doing the edits on the website. Otherwise you're overpaying. You're overpaying for little tiny things. And so you want this website to be editable and for everyone to be able to use it as the tank in your marketing systems. So thank you for listening. This has been the Next Level Contract Podcast. Tim Brown and the podcast is put on by Hook Agency, hookagency.com and Hook Agency all over social. Hey, if you don't mind, could you go out and leave a review for the podcast if you enjoyed it on iTunes? All right. Thanks, guys.